Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned so far on algebraic expression, their parts, their types, let us have a look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Get the algebraic expressions in the following cases using variables, constants and arithmetic operations. Subtraction of z from y. That is you are subtracting z from y. So you have something like y and you subtract z from y. So y minus z is the algebraic expression. Number 5 added to 3 times the product of numbers m and n. So what would be the product of m and n? That would be m into n which is mn. 3 times the product of m and n that is 3 into mn and what is added to this number 5 that is 3 mn plus 5. So this would be the desired expression. Product of numbers y and z subtracted from 10. So product of y and z would be yz and this is subtracted from 10 that means 10 minus yz. Sum of numbers a and b subtracted from their product. So sum of numbers a and b would be a plus b and this a plus b is subtracted from their product. Product is ab. So ab minus a plus b. So that would be the required expression. Question number 2. Identify terms and factors in the expressions given below. So let us look at the first expression which is 5xy square plus 7x square y. So how many terms does this expression has? It has two terms. This is the first term. This is the second term because these are the two parts which are added to make this expression. So the two terms are 5xy square and 7x square y. So these are the two terms. We also need to find out the factors. Now let us first look at the factors here. 5xy square. So this 5xy square can be written as 5 into x into y into y. So these are all factors of 5xy square. Similarly 7x square y can be written as 7 into x into x into y. So these are all factors of 7x square y. So in this way we wrote the terms and factors. Let's look at the second expression which is 5y plus 3y square. So how many terms are present in this expression? Again here also you have 1 and 2 terms. So the terms for this expressions are 5y and 3y square. So these are the terms. What about factors? When you look at 5y, 5y can be written as 5 into y. So 5 and y are the factors. Similarly, 3y square can be written as 3 into y into y. So the 3y, y are the factors of 3y square. So these are the various factors. Let us now look at the third expression which is 1.2ab minus 2.4b plus 3.6a. So in this case, how many uh, parts do you have? 1, 2 and 3. So what are the different terms that you have? The terms are 1.2ab minus 2.4b and 3.6a. So these are the three terms. What about the factors? So 1.2 AB can be written as 1.2 into A into B. So these are the factors. Similarly, 2 minus 2.4 B can be written as minus 2.4 into B. So minus 2.4 and B are the factors. Similarly, 3.6 A can be written as 3.6 into A. So basically 3.6 A minus 2.4 B, 1.2 A, B, these are all factors for this particular expression. So in this uh, manner we find out the terms and factors and this type of representation of terms and factors is called the tree representation. Because the terms and the factors are represented like the branches of a tree. So you have first you have one branch and from there you have two branches from these two branches you again have two branches each and so on. So the, here also the uh, segregation happens in a similar way. So this is called the tree representation. Question number three. 
identify terms which contain x and give the coefficient of x. So what is the expression 1 plus x plus xy. So when you look at this expression that is 1 plus x plus xy. So which are the terms with x. So the terms containing x are x and xy. So these are the two terms which contain x. Now what is the coefficient of x? Now we cannot tell the coefficient of x in general. Now coefficient of x in this particular term. So the coefficient of x would be 1 in x. That means in the first term that is x. What is the coefficient of x? Nothing but 1 because 1 into x is x. So coefficient of x would be 1 in the first term. And what would be the coefficient of x in the second term that is in xy? The coefficient would be everything other than x that is y. So the coefficient of x would be y in this term xy. Because as I have mentioned before also that coefficient is always with respect to a particular term. Let us look at the second one which is 2x square y minus 15xy square plus 7y square. So in this expression we have to find out the terms which contain y square. So terms with y square. So which would be the terms with y square? So first term has y, not y square. But the second term has y square. So one term would be minus 15xy square. What about the third term? This also has y square. So the third term would be 7y square. So what would be the coefficient of y square? So the coefficient of y square in the first term, that is in this term, would be all the term except y square. That is minus 15x in this particular term that is minus 15 x y square and what would be the coefficient of y square in this term everything other than y square that is 7 so the coefficient of y square would be 7 in the term 7 y square so in this fashion we find out the coefficient of a particular variable in a particular term question number 4 classify into monomial binomial or trinomial First one. So how can you write the first expression? It can be written as 4p square q plus minus 4pq square. So you basically have two terms. This is one term and this is another term. So therefore this falls under the category of binomial. Next one is z square minus 3z plus 8. So how many terms do you have? Three terms. So this is an example of trinomial. Here also you have AB minus A minus B. So here also you have three terms. So this is also an example of trinomial. 100. So 100 is just one term. We are not adding anything to 100. So this would be an example of monomial. Y square. So this is also just one term. We are not adding or subtracting anything from Y square. So this also is an example of monomial. Question number 5. State whether a given pair of terms is of like or unlike terms. So let's look at the first pair. We have minus 7x and 5 by 2x. Now whenever we are comparing two terms to find out if they are like or unlike, let us focus on the algebraic coefficient or the algebraic part of the factor. So here the algebraic part is x. Here the algebraic part is x again. So definitely these are like terms. Let's look at the next pair which is 4m square p and 4m p square. So again let's focus on the algebraic part. So here the algebraic part is m square p and here the algebraic part is m p square. Now both are different. m square p would mean m into m into p. And mp square would mean m into p into p. So both are different. So therefore these are unlike terms. Let's look at the third pair which is 12xz and 12x square z square. So here also if you look at this algebraic part it is xz. If you look at this algebraic part it is x square z square which is x into x into z into z. So here also these are unlike terms. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.